it's, uh, it's Fat Tuesday. So this is my table. This is a Mac Bloody Mary, and then this is a Pushki. And so this is, I don't know, a crepe with stuff in it. But do you guys celebrate Fat Tuesday and Mardi Gras and all that stuff? I know it was big in my house because um, my mom's Polish. So we love to get our Pushki on. But uh, I was totally not expecting this. It's totally just been my morning. Have you guys ever had Bloody Marys before? This is a uh, mock Bloody Mary, obviously, because it's in college, but um, I'm going to try this. Let's see how it goes. <sighs> Probably tastes better with alcohol in it. <sighs> it totally tastes like blood. It's like Mary's blood. Not that I would know what that tastes like. I really want to get some beads. I totally just took these beads. <laughs> Happy Mardi Gras! Woo! I was totally like right next to like the king of Mardi Gras too. He was wearing this really sweet hat. I always wanted to take this hat, but too easy. Arr. Guys, look, I found beads in the snow. I found beads in the snow. I got purple and green beads. It's a pretty good day, isn't it? <laughs> it's only like 8 in the morning, so I'm just like, Mardi Gras. Hey, we're watching Escanaba in the Moonlight in the Humanities. We started it today, and oh my gosh, it's really funny. But it's the perfect follow-up for UP, because they were like talking about pasties and hunting, and UP, it's its own thing, its own place, you know? Ah, oh, it was good. I, I miss UP already. So am I the only one who gets freaked out by long hallways? I don't know, it's just kind of freaky. There's this one hallway in the auditorium, actually all the hallways around the auditorium here at MSU, so freaky, because that place is actually haunted, so, ooh, long hallways. So, uh, National Society of Collegiate Scholars has notified me, this thing is freaking huge! Hey guys, film in my running gear, because I am going running for the first time since, like, before the play. So, I'm probably going to keep it to a mile, because it's been a while, and I'm going to work my way out to that day. So I don't know if you can tell, but I just ran. And it wasn't bad. I, I did pretty well for uh, coming off such a busy weekend and not running for a while. Um, definitely wasn't as bad as my run after Christmas break. That run was so bad. Um, but I'm probably going to run a mile again on Thursday. That's the plan. And then hopefully run more than a mile and do other workout thingy bobs. There were a lot of people at the track today. Oh my gosh. It's good to see a lot of people at the track. Also, another thing, I am really glad that I decided to run because I've been meaning to run, or at least um, I knew during my play I couldn't, I couldn't really run. I didn't have a lot of time and I didn't want to exhaust myself. But I knew after my play that I was going to run a schedule and I'm really glad that I did because I always feel better physically and emotionally, and it's just, it just takes that push. You know, like, um, like I was laying in bed like half an hour ago, and I was like, you know, I don't really want to run, I'm kind of hungry and sleepy, and then I'm like, no, I should run. I'll feel better, and I'll feel more accomplished, and I'm really glad I decided to do it. You should do it too.